with the prosecution documentation. A man has been arrested in Mugoga Kabete area after he allegedly stabbed his ex-wife and another man in a violent rampage. The suspect who separated from his wife a month ago broke into the room where the victims were leaving and assaulted them with a knife. He was later cornered by angry neighbors who alerted the police. This incident comes as the police are still investigating the murder of Rita Waeni Mwendo, a young woman whose headless body was found in a building in Roy Sambo. Katians or de Francis reports. The bloody scene in a room where a man went berserk and stabbed his ex-wife and her lover, as well as his own girlfriend, who was also in the room. The suspect, identified as John Joroge, had reportedly parted ways with his wife a month ago, but could not accept the breakup. Ni mzee mmoja waliachana na, na bibi yake, anaito Kemani, waliachana na bibi. Sasa bibi akatoka kwa 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 kuja, haka renti nyumba hapa kiamba. Bwana memtai masubu ya kienda kazi, haka msukuma, haka kuja na ee uku kwa Maria Melenti. According to the neighbors, the suspect tried to flee after the attack but was surrounded by angry residents who wanted to lynch him. He then locked himself in the house and waited for the police to arrive and rescue him. <laughs> A better police commander while confirming the incident said the suspect was being held at Muguga police station while the victims are at the Goto hospital receiving treatment. Bibi aliumia kidogo, lakini kijana aliumia sana na amepelekwa PCA the Goto abako anaendelea na matibabu. Dugwa dungwa kwa uso, dugwa dungwa kwa kifua na sehemu kadha wa kadha. Ambaso daktari wa mempeleka kwa dieta, wanaendelea na uchuguzi zaidi. The motive of the attack was not clear, but it could be related to jealousy and revenge. The attack came at a time when police are still probing several incidences in which young women have been murdered mysteriously. More than five young women have been killed over the last one week. Ode Francis, KTN News, Nairobi. Public participation on a water project that's